Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence, and it's time for another spiritual story time. Uh, a segment on my channel where I talk to you about paranormal things that have happened to me, whether they be paranormal, supernatural, mystical, what have you, uh, and ho in hopes of inspiring you if you are dealing with something similar yourself, how I dealt with such things, and um, it's also a good story for my viewers. Today we are going to be discussing the haunting of Admiral Tool and Manufacturing Co. Uh, I worked there for about two years, and uh, just recently when the chip shortage happened, I got let go, and uh, haven't been back. Uh, I experienced a lot of things there, a lot of paranormal things. Uh, when I first started in August of 2018, uh, we were a small number of group. I was on the night shift. So they oftentimes put me by myself at one machine just to see how I did. Uh, I was in a completely separated part of the factory. Everyone else was working in one area while I was working in, in my own. The only time people came back there was to use the bathrooms. So <clears throat> one of the things that I experienced was my name being called and I was like who's there and I'd be I hear Colton and I'm like someone's screwing with me and then I remember the uh, the supervisor at the time came back he's like hey Colton how you doing and I'm like were you calling me just now and he's like I wasn't and I'm like there's no one back here right and he's like there shouldn't be I didn't see anyone go to the bathroom and I'm like, that's weird. I keep hearing, you know, voices. And he's like, I don't know. Um, well, he said, well, there's a factory uh, a little bit, you know, down the way. Because uh, there was a warehouse. There was our factory, a huge warehouse, and then another factory. I'm like, I don't know if I would hear, you know, from all the way there. And would they really be saying Colton? And he's like, well, I'm not sure, man. And I'm like, well, thanks. So he left. I continue with my work. And then, at the corner of my eye, I kept seeing someone move, and I'm like, I would look, and no one was there. And then one freaky thing was, so, I was working, let's say here, there was a big pallet of boxes. They were stacked pretty high. I saw someone dark, almost like a shadow, run, and then duck behind the pallet. And I'm like, hey, hey, who's, who's over there? No one answered, so I went to look. There was no one. I couldn't believe it. I know I seen someone. They went like this, and then ducked down. <clears throat> and I'm like, what the? And then, I kept working. I kept feeling this. Like a tap on my shoulder, and I'm like, and it felt like someone was behind me. I felt like almost like a presence, like someone was standing right behind me, watching me. And I'm like, that's weird. Uh, and that was only the start of things. So, the next night, there was a big, there was like a open hallway. And one part of the factory was over here, and I was in the standalone portion. <clears throat> At the corner of my eye, I know I saw a tall, older man. Um, I couldn't tell her or not, but I think he had glasses. He had a, a long sleeve checkered jacket. I think it was uh, buttoned down. And he was wearing, um, I believe they were khaki pants, long khaki pants and dark shoes. And I saw him standing there at the corner of my eye. I didn't see him in my full peripheral vision, but I saw him in the corner of my eye. And he was going like this. He was, he was standing with his arms like this, and then I seen him do this. Almost like he was staring at me. and So I look, and he vanishes. There's nothing. 
there's nothing there. And I'm like, that's really, really strange. And I saw him multiple times that night. You know, sometimes he would just be staring at me like this. Or sometimes he would be with his back to me. And I swear, I saw him. And then, when I would go to the bathroom, there was definitely different occasions when I felt someone else was in there. One time I was in the stall, and the, the door was locked. No one else was in the bathroom. I heard the door open, and I heard someone walk on the tile. And I'm like, oh, someone's there. So I finish up. I go. There's no one there. There's the one stall, you know, it has one of those doors where it's not locked, but it's closed, you know. I just look underneath. There's no feet. And I'm like, I know I heard the door open, and I heard someone walk in. Uh, there was another time when I was at the urinal, going to the bathroom, and my shirt, someone was pulling it like this. And I actually felt my shirt go like this. And I'm like, whoever you are, stop it. And they did. And uh, they had one of those um, toy uh, not toilet paper, uh, paper towel dispensers where you had to wave your hand through before it uh, ejected out the toilet, not the toilet paper, paper towel. Well, one day... We were wondering if it was broken or if someone was in there, paranormal-wise. Because it just kept going. <laughs> and eventually it stopped. And we're like, what the... And even, I even talked to some of the girls. And uh, when they were in the bathroom, they were definitely, they definitely felt some things too. And then... My supervisor came back when I was working, and I'm like, Joe, Joe, I swear to you, something's going on here. I think something's haunting this place. And he's like, oh, yeah, I believe it. I've, I've seen things. I'm like, you have? So there was this um, upper floor that was only accessible by a ladder. It was one of those big, tall step ladders with the wheels. And... Um, you would go there for like certain supplies. Only the um, supervisor or the uh, technicians were allowed up there. He's like, yeah, I've seen, you know, like a shadow figure up there. And uh, sometimes he would be like going past the aisles because there were like shelves. And he's like, yeah, I've seen him. And uh, there's also an old man here too. I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah, two girls on day shift. Um... They said they uh, saw an old man walking around the factory, but uh, then when they went past him, he just disappeared, and they were freaked out. And I'm like, wow. And he's like, yeah, I believe uh, it's one of the old higher-ups that used to, you know, work here. He's uh, He was in his 60s, and, you know, he, he died here of a heart attack. And I'm like, oh, wow. Well, I did see an old man, so maybe that could have been him, but I don't know who the shadow figure was. And he's like, yeah, I, I, I don't know either. But, um, I definitely never felt threatened when I was there by the spirit. The old man I definitely knew was definitely not evil. He was more curious. He may have been, um, unaware that he died. Um, or he knew he was dead and he was just overseeing the workers like he always did when he worked there years ago. And then I also learned that on the property before there was a factory, there was a bank. And he was, uh, I don't know if he worked there, the shadow figure, whoever he was, but there used to be a bank. And uh, the tornado shelter we had was actually what used to be their old vault. So I don't know if that had something to do with whatever was here. Um, I, I definitely wasn't able to make contact there because I had to focus on my work. But um, I did have another dream 
while I was there, and I think it may have had something to do with the haunting, but I don't know. I can't be certain. And I'll definitely tell you guys about that in another spiritual story time, because um, it definitely warrants its own video. But yeah, I experienced a lot of crazy things over the two years that I worked there. I definitely saw strange things, and other people did too. You know, I would, some of the new guys would be like, yo, is someone back here? And I'm like, no one's back here. And uh, he's like, I just seen an old man, you know, and he was walking past me, but uh, I think he went in the back or something. I'm like, I didn't see anybody come this way. He's like, huh? I told him, it's the ghost. <laughs> just to play around. But, yeah, that's pretty much what I experienced there. But, yeah, all that time, I, I never felt threatened by either entity. So, I'm, I'm, I'm very certain that none of them were negative. Although, um, we may ha have had an idea who the old man was. We had no idea who the shadow figure was. But, we know that he was definitely, he wanted to remain hidden. He, he was so used to hiding. He, you could never look at him straight on, but he had to always hide from you. So it could have been a shy spirit, or maybe he just didn't want us learning his identity. I don't know. But it may have something to do with a dream I had a few weeks after I started working there. And I'll definitely let you know that will actually be the next video after this one. But that's pretty much uh, it, guys. Thank you guys so much for listening to this spiritual story time. Please subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my future videos. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or ideas for videos that I can do, please put it down in the comment section down below. And please share this on as many social media sites as you have. Please try to get this information out to as many people as you can, because the goal of this channel is to... Uh, not only teach the spiritual, you know, and teach people who want to learn about the spiritual, but also to educate them in case they are dealing with spiritual problems. And I'm hoping to be, you know, able to help them. So please, guys, for me, share this with as many people as you can. And uh, the more subscribers I have, the more people I can reach, the more people I can help. Uh, once my channel gets enough uh, subscribers, I'm going to try and get a social media going. So, um, just help me guys get, you know, more subscribers and help me, you know, reach more people. And then we'll definitely see about that. So thank you guys for listening. See you later.